and I don't have this in my notes, but I've, I've, I've gone over this multiple times. This is one of the reasons why we're King James only. The Bible says to uh, not to be angry with your, with your brother with, without a cause. And the modern perversions change that to just be, be not angry with your brother. And they, they remove the phrase without a cause. By doing so, by doing that perversion of Scripture and removing of God's Word, do you know what that does? It turns Jesus Christ into a sinner. Because the meaning then, when you remove without a cause, which just says, be not angry with your brother. Well, what happens when Jesus Christ was angry? When he was angry with his brothers. We're going to get to that in just a second. Ephesians chapter 4, verse number 26, the Bible says, be ye angry. That's like a command. Be ye angry and sin not. So is it possible to be angry and still not be sinning? Absolutely. Otherwise, the Bible couldn't say this. Be angry and sin not. Then it says, let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. So what the Bible is saying is, look, you be angry, but don't sin. Be, have righteous anger. Don't sin and don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. See, this is how we keep ourselves from being a quote unquote angry person. You don't want to retain this anger with you all of the time. It's going to make you bitter and it's going to spoil your heart and it's going to make you not you know, as loving as you ought to be in general. Right. So we need to, look, it's fine to get angry righteously. Get angry with the wicked. Get angry at the, the people who hate Jesus Christ and are fighting against God. That's fine to be angry, but don't let the sun go down upon your wrath. What that's saying is, you know what, when the day's over, you ought to be able to wake up the next day and not just retain all of that anger with you. Amen. Not just let that eat you up inside. Hey, man, let's, you know, move forward. Move on. You got angry. If it's righteous, righteous anger, it's fine. You're not sinning. But don't just dwell on that. Right. Keep going. Turn if you would to Mark chapter 3. Mark chapter 3. This is, this is one of the examples where we see Jesus getting angry. There's another one where he flips over the tables in the temple. A couple times he does. It's not just once. He walks in the temple and he sees them buying and selling. And he, you know, he flips over the tables and he makes a whip and he drives out the people who are buying and selling out of the temple. And he says, you know, make not my father's house a house of merchandise. It's supposed to be a house of prayer. And they're coming in and corrupting God's house. And he had this zeal. And, and he was angry. I mean, there's no way you could say he wasn't angry when he's flipping over tables and driving people out with a whip. Get out of here! That was Jesus Christ, our Savior, our example. He had a righteous anger. But did he just be bitter against the people then that were in the temple buying and selling after he drove them out and, and, and corrected the situation? Got angry about it, took action, corrected it, Moved on. Right. And that's, that is the righteous example. Mark chapter 3, look at verse number... Um, look at verse number... Let's look at verse number 1. And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a withered hand, and they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. And he saith unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. And he saith unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days or to do evil, to save life or to kill? But they held their peace. Of course, they don't want to answer. They don't want to say what they believe. Jesus is preaching loudly what he believes. Look at verse number five. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. The Bible says that Jesus had anger when he looked around about on him. Did Jesus sin? Of course not. Because there's a time to be angry. There is a time when it's right to be angry with people. And it's fine in the appropriate time and place. 